Hey you guys, I'm back with another video and it's y'all lucky day because I'm finally showing y'all how I do my garlic and herb lamb chops. Okay, for this meal you'll need a pack of lamb racks, thyme, peeled garlic, rosemary, a lemon, chili powder, salt and pepper. Okay, so starting off you're going to use three stems of thyme. You're going to remove the leaves from the stem. Make sure you don't have no stem, only the leaves. You're going to do the same thing with your rosemary, removing the leaves from the stem, except this time you're going to use two stems instead of three. Yeah, that's what we want there. Okay, so when now that it's done, you want to give it a fine chop, like a nice chop to where it can sprinkle on the lamb to where it's edible. So you want to place that aside into a nice bowl and then begin chopping up your garlic. And also you're going to place that garlic into the bowl as well. After that is done, you're going to add one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper. But my ingredients, I kind of eyeball it. So if you're a good cook, you can really eyeball it. And one tablespoon of chili powder. Then you're going to begin to mix all of your dry seasonings. You're then going to add the juice of a whole lemon, or if you don't have a whole lemon, you can use two tablespoons of lemon juice. Also, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now that you have your marinade, you're going to place your rack of lamb into that marinade. Make sure you coat it well, and then you're going to let that sit for two hours. I let it mine sit for a whole day or 48 hours, but if you want to cook it the same day, let it at least marinate for two hours. Okay, for lamb chops to get the wild taste out, I like to add red wine, and I'm using your vintage cooking wine. So this step y'all don't have to do, but I like to taste my seasoning. I'm just going in with a little Italian herb seasoning. And again, this step you do not have to do, but y'all, I love seasoning. So yeah, you see it. Look at that. You see, it. I like to see my seasoning. And again, I'm just going to let that marinate for about two hours. Moving on to the side dish, you just a baked potato, you all just rinse it off, put some salt on it, and you can wrap it up in aluminum foil and throw it in the oven. Okay, let's get to the fun part. So you're just going to take that lamb out that marinade, and then you're going to place that marinade within a pan, get it nice and hot, and add a half stick of butter. Okay, so while your glaze is cooking for the lamb chop, basically you're going to cut your lamb chop into four sections, leaving two bones per section. And for this glaze, you can add a little more wine, like a, like a half a cup. Let your glaze come into a boil and then turn it down and just let it simmer while you cook your lamb chop. Okay, let's get into the lamb chops. You're just going to coat the pan with a little olive oil. And I also like to add butter. Y'all, butter make everything taste better. So you're going to let that get good and hot. You know if it's good and hot if you hear a sizzling sound. Okay, before we place these lamb chops in the oven, you want to let them sear for three minutes on each side. You want it to be golden brown on each side. Get that crust on the sides, y'all. You want that crust on it. So when it's in the oven, the juices do not seep through. Y'all, the smell that the herbs are giving off the lamb chop, oh my God, your mouth is going to be watering while you're cooking this dish. So after your lamb chops have seared for three minutes on each side, you're going to take them out of that pan. And then the juices, as you see this in the pan, you're going to keep that. You're going to place that into your glaze. That pan with the juices have so much flavor to it that you want that flavor within your glaze. 
So after the glaze has cooked for like 30 minutes, you're gonna pour it onto your lamb chops and get ready to place them within the oven. So within 10 minutes of your lamb chops almost being ready to come out the oven, I like to cook my shrimp. I just add seasoned salt, garlic, onion powder, and a little lemon, and put some butter in the pan and just saute that, and it's good to go. There you have it. Good shrimp. Look at that, baby. So when your lamb chop comes out the oven, you just want to sit that aside, let it rest for a minute. You can build your potato while it's resting. Look at that. Look at that, baby. So with my loaded baked, baked potato, I just add butter, cheese, sour cream, of course, salt and pepper, and bacon bits, and we good to go. There you have it, a loaded baked potato. Okay, so let's place this dish. I'm just gonna place like five or six shrimp by the baked potato, and then with the lamb chops, you're gonna cut it down the middle of the two bones that I told you leave two bones. You're just gonna slice that down the middle. Well done. Look at that. Look at the lamb chop. And then you're gonna place some of that glaze on top of it, baby. And when I tell y'all, thank me later. Thank me later. Because when you make this dish, baby, you're gonna get a husband, whatever you want out the man, you're gonna get it, baby. You're gonna get it. Get him that dish and you good to go. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking with Neek. Y'all, whatever you want to see me cook next, leave a comment down below and I got you.